Hey everybody, um, hope you're all well. Um, I thought I would just uh, share um, a few thoughts with you um, today just about something that had happened um, in my life. Um, so a couple of weeks ago, I had one of the most traumatic experiences um, of my life. And I know your mind's probably racing thinking, what terrible thing could happen, what could have happened um, that could be so bad? Um, and when I tell you, you'll probably think, oh, you know, she needs to, to get a grip of herself. But um, at the time, um, it was it was pretty terrible. And this terrible thing that happened was that I lost this. This is my USB or pen drive, or there's different names for it, but we'll call it USB for now. Um, now, I know in contrast to a global pandemic, um, it fades in comparison, but I can tell you it was a very stressful uh, few hours um, as this little object contains almost all of my schoolwork from about the last three and a half years. As you can see, I found it. Um, but it did make me think um, that there were a few things maybe that I could learn from what happened. Um, so that's what I thought I would share on here today. Um, so to go back to where it all started, on the Thursday afternoon, um, we had just been put into, we are going into the new lockdown and I was at home uh, preparing for the start of remote learning and I had lost track of time and when I looked at the clock, I realised, oh goodness, I need to get the tea started. Um, so I set the laptop on the bench um, with this still in it and I started to make the tea. So I've sort of divided this into uh, five questions. So the first question was, how did the USB get lost? Um, I distinctly remember taking it out of the laptop at some stage, but after that I had no recollection um, of seeing it. And you know, this made me think about how much we can be like this in life. We get caught up in everything that's going on around us and it's not necessarily bad stuff. I mean, we all need it to eat, um, but we can so easily lose track of what's important and God sort of gets pushed down our list of priorities. Um, anyway, up until I arrived at work on Friday morning, I was blissfully unaware that my USB was lost. That is until I opened my pencil case and I started to rummage about quite calmly at this point um, for, for my USB. And after the third time, or maybe even the fourth time, of emptying all the contents out of the pencil case, I was very aware that it was not where I thought it was. Um, I could feel my heart uh, start to beat a bit faster and calm is not a word that I would use to describe uh, how I was feeling at that point. Um, so question number two is, what did I do? Well, I did what every good Bible-believing, faith-filled Christian would do. That word beginning with P. Yes, I panicked. I went home and looked, I came back to school, looked, checked the pencil case again and I had work to finish at school which I found very hard to concentrate on and as soon as it was finished I headed home and on the way home I did what I should have done at the very start and that was pray. Now why did I wait that long? Um, and how many times as Christians do we try to sort things out for ourselves? Um, and as a last resort we finally ask God for help. The Bible tells us in Philippians 4, 6, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, even the small things, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And, you know, there was a lot in that verse that could have helped me that day if I had put it into practice. Um, question three and four sort of go together, I suppose. Um, they are, where did I find it? And what was my reaction? Well, I re-looked in a few places, quite a few times probably, and at a few new places, and I moved pieces of furniture, I checked pockets, and I turned shoes upside down in case it had fallen in there. And the only place I could think that was left to try was in the bin. So with a bag over my hand and my nose uh, screwed up a bit, I started to empty the contents of the bin. And after lifting only about two or three things there, sitting as nice as you like on top of the rest of the rubbish was the USB. Well, my first emotion was total relief, but 
it was very soon followed by the realisation of just how close that this very precious object to me had, how close I'd come to, for, to it being lost forever. Um, and you know, if you're watching this video today and you're not Christian, the Bible tells us that God calls us, but he will not call forever. Um, you know, that is a very serious thing. Isaiah 55, 6 says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. And I pray that you would take those words really seriously today. Question number five. What did I do about it? Well, it was the weekend, so I couldn't do anything. But uh, when I went into school on the Monday, I copied everything onto the school computer, where it's now safe. Um, I don't have to worry now about something like this happening again, because I can rely on the school hard drive as a backup. And you know, that's what it's like to be when you're a Christian. When you have God in your life, you don't have to face anything alone. You don't have to rely on your own strength and abilities. Another verse um, in Isaiah 41 and 10, it says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. You know, the Bible doesn't promise that when you're a Christian that life will go smoothly. But it does promise that God will be with you. It doesn't promise that you won't have to face difficulties, but it does promise that you won't have to face them alone. If you're a Christian watching this today and things are in your life are going pretty good, well, thank God for the, for that. Thank God that you're in that place right now and stay close to him and walk closely with him. If things are not going just so good, well then ask him to help you to be the strength that you don't have yourself. To give you peace in your heart about whatever situation you're facing and give everything over to him. If you're watching this and you're not a Christian, then I would really encourage you to give it some thought. The most important part of becoming a Christian is that your sins are forgiven and you get to spend eternity in heaven. But as part of that decision, you gain a friend who will never leave you or forsake you. And that's a pretty good deal. So what have I learned from this experience? Well, number one, keep your eyes focused on God. Don't get sidetracked, even by the good stuff. Number two, pray first even for the seemingly insignificant things. Number three, don't let something as valuable and precious as God end up in the rubbish heap like my USB did. And number four, give your life totally and completely over to him. He's the most dependable person you will ever meet and he will never let you down. I just want to leave you with a couple of verses that are, are some of my favourites and especially um, in recent times and it's Lamentations 3, 22 and 23 and it says the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases his mercies never come to an end they are new every morning great is your faithfulness this is the promise of love and mercy and faithfulness from a God who will walk through life with you in every circumstance if you will accept him as your Lord and Saviour I hope you've got something out of what I have shared today and whatever you're doing enjoy the rest of your day Stay safe. God bless.